Chicago police are investigating several overnight fires. Authorities have determined there were six arsons last night and five are related. Three juveniles are in custody. All of them are charged with arson. CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reeds in Sylacauga. He has the latest on the investigation. This is all that's left of one of the houses that was set on fire last night here on West 8th Street. Now, the Sylacauga police chief tells me officers were able to catch the three juveniles who were in the area walking around. Investigators tell me it all started around 8.30 Tuesday night. Firefighters responded to the first of several structure fires on several different streets in Sylacauga. All the buildings were abandoned homes except for one. Three teenagers ages 14, 16, and 17 were taken into custody and all face arson charges. Residents who live in these neighborhoods tell CBS 42 News they are glad the suspects were caught, but the experience, they say, has raised questions about safety. Well, it kind of scared me because of they're all so close to me. I live on Woodlawn and it's just too close for comfort to me. You never know how the minds of people work these days. And um, somebody has a little too much time on their hands, is what I say. And um, just really need to find something better to do. They don't think about the consequences behind this. Police tell us one person was injured while trying to escape one of the fires. We're told that victim was taken to the hospital for treatment. In Sylacauga, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.